Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I am Dr. Mahibullah Wazir and the topic is the mandibular nerve. Note, the mandibular nerve is a branch of the trigeminal nerve. Note the point. This is the trigeminal ganglion which divides into three branches. That is the ophthalmic, the maxillary and the mandible, the mandibular branch. This mandibular branch is also sensory. It passes through this foramen whale and in the foramen whale it is joined by the motor root of the trigeminal nerve and then, then it becomes the mixed nerve having the sensory and motor fiber. It lies over here and it comes out through the foramen whale and then comes over here in the infratemporal region and now over here it is only sensory when joined by the motor in the foramen whale now it becomes the mixed nerve now this mandibular nerve now it is mixed nerve and it lies in the infratemporal region and after a very short distance then immediately it divides into two branches and over here in the infratemporal region in this region the attic ganglion you look over here the attic ganglion is it is attached to its deep surface but toward the part the attic ganglion is not functionally related to it it's only being attached to its deep surface and then it immediately divides into two branches number one look this is the anterior division and this is the posterior division of the mandibular nerve. The anterior division small mainly motor and having only one sensory branch while the posterior division it is mainly sensory with one motor branch. But before it divides into its two divisions it gives two branches. One branch, number one, the meningeal branch or nervous spinosis. This meningeal branch, as soon as the mandibular, it comes out of the tertiary pore of the, over the foramen veil, it immediately gives one branch which ascends backward by passing through the foramen veil or through the foramen spinosum and enter again into the medial canal fossa and it supplies over here the dura mater of the medial cranial fossa. This is the meningeal branch of the mandibular nerve. And the second branch is given by the main trunk of the mandibular nerve before it has been divided to two, that is nerve to medial pterygoid muscle. And note the point. The mandibular nerve, it the nerve to medial pterygoid it supplies number one the military guard muscle and number two it also supplies the tensor tempani muscle and it also supplies the tensor villi palatinae muscle in this way the nerve to military guard which is a branch from the main trunk it divides it supplies three muscles then it divides into two branches the anterior division and posterior division now, what are the branches of anterior division? The branches of anterior division are all motor except one branch that is buccal branch which is sensory. What are the, the branches? Number one, you can see over here, this is the anterior division. From this, you can see there are two branches, anterior and posterior deep temporal branches. These two deep temporal branches, it passes upward to supply the temporalis muscle. The temporal branches, it supplies the temporalis muscle. And then it gives, you can see over here, the mesenteric branch which supplies the mesenteric muscle. And this mesenteric branch also gives over here a branch to the TM joint, temporo, temporo mandibular joint over here, over here. Because it supplies the mesenteric muscle, so it also gives branch to the TM joint. And then you can see it gives branch to the lateral pterygoid. Let look the branch given to the lateral pterygoid. 
this one this small branch the c2 letter regard first you can see two deep temporal branch and then you can see the mesenteric branch and then is the letter t regard and lastly you can see this branch which descend downward and it is called as buccal branch this is the branch which is sensory and this buccal branch it supplies the skin over the cheek and then the mucous membrane on the under surface of the cheek and then it supplies the buccinator muscle for its proprioceptive supplies it gives proprioceptive branches to the buccinator muscle and then it supplies the gums of the lower jaw against the molar and premolar teeth in this way the buccal branch is the only sensory branch of the anterior division that is it supplies the skin over the cheek the mucous membrane of the cheek and the mucous membrane and the gums of the lower jaw against the premolar and the molar teeth all right in this way it supplies the muscles of mastication that is temporalis lateral and medial tertiary guard and mesenteric and mesenteric muscle and then it also supplies the sensory supplies over here to the area which i have mentioned these are the branches of the tier division of the, the the mandibular nerve the posterior division i will describe in the next lecture thank you